The 385th Air Expeditionary Group is a provisional United States Air Force unit assigned to Air Mobility Command to activate or inactivate as needed. It was last known to be stationed at Insulik AB, Turkey. It is currently a tenant unit of the 379th Air Expeditionary Wing at Al Udiyat Air Base, Qatar. During World War II, it was active as the 385th Bombardment Group Heavy, an 8th Air Force B-17 Flying Fortress Unit, stationed at RAF Great Ashfield, England. The group led the famous attack on the Fock Wolf Assembly Plant at Marienburg in East Prussia on 9 October 1943. During the Cold War, the 385th Strategic Aerospace Wing was a Strategic Air Command wing assigned to the 818th Strategic Aerospace Division at Offutt Air Force Base, Nebraska. It conducted strategic air refueling operations and maintained ICBM readiness to meet SAC commitments. The wing served as a deterrent force and also supported SAC's global air refueling mission until inactivated in 1964 as part of the phase-out of the SM-65 Atlas ICBM from the USAF inventory. It was inactivated on 15 December 1964. History World War II The unit was first activated as the 385th Bombardment Group in late 1942 at davis munthen Field in Arizona. Its initial squadrons were the 548th, 549th, 550th, and 551st Bombardment Squadrons. The group was formed in February 1943 at Geiger Field, Washington. It trained for two months and then moved to Great Falls AAB, Montana in April 1943. The unit completed training at the end of May 1943 with the aircraft moving to Kearney AAF, Nebraska prior to moving to England by the Northern Ferry Route. Two aircraft were lost en route. The ground echelon left Great Falls on 8 June 1943. The 548th BS sailed on the Queen Mary on 23 June 1943 and the other squadrons on the Queen Elizabeth on 1 July 1943. Under 8th Air Force based in England, the 385th BG operated primarily as a strategic bombardment organisation until the war ended, striking such targets as industrial areas, air bases, oil refineries, and communications centres in Germany, France, Poland, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Norway. The group received two distinguished unit citations for bombing an aircraft factory at Regensburg on 17 August 1943 after a long hazardous flight over enemy territory. The group led the 4th Bombardment Wing a great distance through heavy and damaging opposition for the successful bombardment of an aircraft repair plant at Zwickau on 12 May 1944, being awarded another Duke for this performance. Other strategic targets included aircraft factories in Oschersleben and Marienburg, battery works in Stuttgart, airfields in Beauvais and Chartres, oil refineries in Ludwigshafen and Merseburg, and marshalling yards in Munich and Oranienburg. The 385th sometimes supported ground forces and struck interdictory targets. It attacked coastal defences in June 1944 in preparation for the Normandy invasion and hit marshalling yards and choke points during the landing on D Day. The group bombed enemy positions in support of ground forces at St. Lowe in July 1944. Attacked German communications and fortifications during the Battle of the Bulge, December 1944 to January 1945. It bombed troop concentrations and communications centers in Germany and France, March to April 1945, to assist the final thrust into Germany. On 6 March 1944 raid to Berlin the most costly mission the 8th ever carried out the 3rd Division Commander, Brigadier General Russell Wilson, took off from Great Ashfield in a radar-equipped B-17 in a leading group of the 385th. All of the 385th aircraft returned safely all, that is, except the one carrying General Wilson, which was seen to take several hits from flak, setting one engine on fire. Although four of the crew managed to parachute to safety including Medal of Honor hero First Lieutenant John C. Morgan, eight of the others were killed when the bomber exploded. In May 1945 the group dropped food to the starving Dutch population in the Netherlands as part of Operation Chowhound. The 385th suffered the last enemy action in the European part of the war. 
On 2 May 1945, a B-17 of the 385th BG was struck by enemy ground fire while on Operation Chow Hound but returned safely to base. This was the last credited combat mission of the war. After VE Day, the 385th Bomb Group hauled displaced French slave laborers from Austria to France, it redeployed to the United States in June and August 1945. The aircraft left between 19 June, and 29 June 1945. The ground unit left on 4 August 1945, and sailed on the Queen Elizabeth from Greenock on 5 August 1945. They arrived in New York on of August 1945. Group was then established at Sioux Falls AAF, South Dakota and inactivated on 28 August 1945. <laughs> Cold War The origins of the 385th Strategic Aerospace Wing began on 15 August 1959 when Strategic Air Command activated the 566th Strategic Missile Squadron at Offutt AFB and assigned it to 2nd Air Force. The squadron was equipped with SM-65 Atlas Ds. Six weeks later, on 1 October 1959, SAC established the 4,321st Strategic Wing at Offutt and assigned it to the 17th Air Division, later Strategic Aerospace Division as an operational headquarters for the 566th and for the 34th Air Refueling Squadron, flying Boeing KC-135 Stratotankers. The 34th had been stationed at Offutt since the fall of 1958, but was assigned to a wing located at Whiteman AFB, Missouri. The wing's missiles were maintained on alert and ready for combat. The 4,321st and later the 385th continued to maintain an alert commitment until inactivating. In August 1962, the 4,321st was reassigned to the 818th Strategic Aerospace Division. However, SAC strategic wings could not carry a permanent history or lineage and SAC looked for a way to make its strategic wings permanent. In 1962, in order to perpetuate the lineage of many currently inactive bombardment units with illustrious World War II records, Headquarters SAC received authority from Headquarters USAF to discontinue its major command controlled strategic wings that were equipped with combat aircraft and to activate Air Force controlled units, most of which were inactive at the time which could carry a lineage and history. As a result, the 4,321st SW was replaced by the newly constituted 300. 185th Strategic Aerospace Wing which assumed its mission, personnel, and equipment on 1 January 1963. In the same way the 549th Strategic Missile Squadron, one of the unit's World War II historical bomb squadrons, replaced the 566th SMS. The 34th Air Refueling Squadron was reassigned to the 385th. Because the new organization controlled a combination of aircraft and intercontinental ballistic missiles it added «aerospace» to the 4,321 streets designation. The 385th SOAR continued to conduct strategic air refueling operations and maintain ICBM readiness to meet SAC commitments. The wing served as a deterrent force and also supported SAC's global air refueling mission. It was inactivated on the 15th of December 1964. Topic: Lineage. 385th Bombardment Group. Constituted as the 385th Bombardment Group Heavy on the 25th of November 1942, activated on the 1st of December 1942. Redesignated as the 385th Bombardment Group, heavy on the 11th of August 1944. Inactivated on the 28th of August 1945, consolidated on the 31st of January 1984 with the 385th Strategic Aerospace Wing as the 385th Strategic Aerospace Wing. Remain inactive, 385th Strategic Wing. Constituted as the 385th Strategic Aerospace Wing on the 15th of November 1962 and activated, not organized, organized on the 1st of January 1963. Discontinued and inactivated on the 15th of December 1964. Consolidated on the 31st of January 1985 with the 385th Bombardment Group. Remained inactive. Redesignated 385th Air Expeditionary Group and converted to provisional status on the 12th of June 2002.
Topic: Assignments. Two Bomber Command, the 1st of December 1942. Eighth Air Force, CA, the 6th of July 1943. Eight Bomber Command, CA, the 8th of July 1943. 4th Bombardment Wing, later 4th Combat Bombardment Wing, the 12th of July 1943, attached to 401st Provisional Combat Bombardment Wing until the 13th of September 1943. 93d Combat Bombardment Wing, the 17th of February 1945. 45th Combat Bombardment Wing, the 24th of May 1945. 20th Bombardment Wing, the 18th of June 1945 to the 28th of August 1945. Strategic Air Command, the 14th of November 1962, not organized. 818th Strategic Aerospace Division, the 1st of January 1963 to the 15th of December 1964. Air Mobility Command to activate or inactivate at any time after the 12th of June 2002. Topic: Components. Squadrons: 34th Air Refueling Squadron, the 1st of January to the 15th of December 1964, detached 10 to 15 December 1964. 548th Bombardment Squadron, the 1st of December 1942 to the 19th of June 1945. 549th Bombardment Later Strategic Missile Squadron the 1st of December 1942 to the 19th of June 1945 the 1st of January 1963 to the 15th of December 1964 not operational 1 to 15 December 1964 550th Bombardment Squadron the 1st of December 1942 to the 19th of June 1945 551st Bombardment Squadron, the 1st of December 1942 to the 19th of June 1945. 90th Expeditionary Air Refueling Squadron, 2002 Undetermined Squadron assigned to NSA Suda Bay, Crete, Greece. Topic: <laughs> Stations. Davis Munthan Field, Arizona, the 1st of December 1942. Bigsfield, Texas, the 21st of December 1942. Geiger Field, Washington, the 1st of February 1943. Great Falls Army Air Base, Montana, the 11th of April to June 1943. Great Ashfield Station 155, England, June 1943 to August 1945. Sioux Falls Army Air Field, South Dakota, August the 28th of August 1945. Offutt AFB, Nebraska, the 1st of January 1963 to the 15th of December 1964. Insulik Air Base, Turkey, 2002 undetermined. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Aircraft and missiles. Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress, 1942 to 1945. Boeing KC-135 Stratotanker. 1963–1964, 2002 unknown. SM65 Atlas D, 1963–1964.